Yeah, this is all desert. This is all tundra. You know what? I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to see if I can explore a little bit. Send some people off to, to the ocean. Maybe go get us one city with a harbour just because. Like, Antium could probably build me a couple boats. Yeah. That's what I'll end up doing. Seeing as we're going down the Alliance route, commercial hubs have got to be something that I focus on a little bit. So I need to get a couple of these built. It's, it's not... Ugh. A couple of these are, are really starting to push what I want, but I can I can do this. I can put it there, and then it'll give more adjacency bonus to the campus. Let's do that, and then we'll get. Oh, we said we needed to do a bath here, didn't we? So let's get the bath done. Ah, ancient and medieval walls. First great engineer, the worst one, unfortunately. But we'll stick it in our smaller cities just to push it through. Why not? Do you have a scientist, however? Let's see what this one does. So we've got square rigging, economics, and scientific theory. Those are all oh, very good ones, actually. Very, very good ones. I can't complain about that. Very nice. We've even got NITA coming in now. Let's just go in and trade. Often later in the game, the computer stops stops requesting, you know, deals and, and doesn't remind you of doing it. I don't know why. It must be just some difference in the process. But we're getting lots of gold in now. As I say, when the gold comes through, I'm just using the gold to purchase in the universities, which are the most expensive buildings, but the best ones. University and library in the district. Ah, oh, here we go. The universities provide. That's the one I want. 20 great scientist points coming in, only two being produced elsewhere. That's not a bad place to be. We're doing it. We've got 100 science now. It's 1072. Uh, we've got some gold coming in from these crabs because crabs don't need to... Don't need crabs. Ugh. Japan. Very nice to meet you. Do you have lots of money? Where are you? Are you south? On a different continent, perhaps. Oh, theatre square is where we've got our first theatre square with a big bonus up and running. That's good. Right, we don't need all this. This is nonsense. But Kyoto, population 12. What continent are you on? You are on Europe. So Europe. So this is all the same continent. Crazy had three people on this continent the whole time. Incans! Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me, eh? Buttresses. Joyous. Well, we're one turn off the Enlightenment now, which is pretty good. This is going to make a huge, huge difference to my science per turn. I'm on 115 right now. Just remember that. 115. Just focusing on getting you know, these, this city now needs to be at 10 population. This is the, the, the crucial threshold. We're just building markets just to get some trade routes up so I can send things. Universities, this, so this city is the one in question right now. Building amphitheaters because all of a sudden, because of my divine spark, uh, delegation is most welcome, thank you. Because of divine spark and because of the fact that I've got the pantheon, uh, sorry, the, um, uh, what's it called? Well, who's his name? What am I looking for? What am I even talking about? Oh, go away, go away, go away. Pingala. Right, because Pingala, his city, has an amphitheater and divine spark, already I'm getting like 6.9 great writer points, so already I'm starting to take over that one, which is absolutely hilarious. But I've now got the enlightenment. That gives me this one, rationalism. <laughs> exactly let's get rid of the new builders one just for now i know it's a pain we'll get that one as back as soon as we can but 115 science we've got now 134 science there's another 20 we pushed up and we are barely barely swinging right now 55 science 46 science 18 science for japan japan what are you doing what are you doing bless you that is an appalling state of affairs i'm gonna make i'm gonna make you an, a friendship deal very good I'm going to get an embassy with you, and I'm going to offer you alliance. Let's get you a military alliance, because why not? Maybe it's still more equitable. Yeah, I'll give you a tiny bit of money. There you go. That just gets more points in. Renew all the deals. It's just, this is the thing. It takes forever. It takes absolutely forever. But if I just do this, and then go, what do you give me? 17, 17 gold per turn. Good God. That's a lot of gold. Oh, hopefully she won't go and uh, screw me over in future with some sort of some sort of diplomatic deal so hopefully you kind of see where the middle game is going here it's all about just getting plus three ten population cities uh, 
piling them all in in that in that regard and it you know it all, all adds up pretty quickly we're gonna get a couple traders now i'm gonna just pump some fruits into this city i want to get that one up and running to 10 population this city as well look at this no growth Need to cut down a couple of forests and put some more put some more uh farms down a merchant republic exploration this is the other good one this gets me extra gold extra production for uh, towards districts which is a big deal and it gets me extra slots in the government which is exactly what i want to do so with the settling of this city ostia down it goes beautiful beautiful in its uh craziness i'm just gonna immediately harvest that stone oh go away i don't want to do room at the moment i'm busy explaining to do a one turn bath district down there after that we'll get the campus up and running seven cities in hindsight i very much could have um you, you know oh, what am i looking for so in the commercial district not the commercial district so now i've got seven cities i'm thinking in the government plaza i could have gone for the other buildings so when we got uh the government plaza we picked ancestral hall i still believe that was the right thing to do all of those three builders meant that our cities came up and running really quickly but we could in theory have got audience chamber and then got all the extra housing but we've got plenty of housing we're playing as rome for this particular game it don't make much sense i'm pretty pretty happy with what we decided to do theater squares however are now coming all down look at this i'm just surrounding surrounding my campus to get the biggest adjacency i possibly can it's all good it's all good now now i really can't stress enough how imperative rationalism is that 50 percent population boost you know the 10 percent or higher population 50 percent more science is so important so important every city especially every city with a university has got to now have 10 populations so Aratium, Aquila and Antium these it is just my priority to get those three cities up to 10 population as fast as I can the other half of it of course is you've got to have a district if it has at least three adjacency now I'm pretty sure Rome yeah there we go so eight so that's four adjacency in this one four adjacency in that one three adjacency in that one three in that one and then it'll be two in this one still but three once the industrial zone is built so these five cities are going to be the the, the the crux of my science output ravina ravina it's struggling a little bit more what you know i'll only be able to get that that adjacency bonus once we get a couple more districts up but actually the introduction of that nitre on that tile is going to totally ruin that one for me unfortunately this campus is never going to be one that gets the full bonus because unfortunately it's got one two yeah unless we get some other bonus that's going to improve this campus it's just not going to work unfortunately but that's that's fine i wonder where that is getting the extra bonus from though because that's that's got a oh, it's the mountain isn't it oh hang on one two oh no no it's still not going to work and this one here we've managed to get one two it's going to be a tight squeeze but you know these two cities ravina and ostia they weren't in our you know important members of our plan these city states however i'm going to keep an eye on those genuinely speaking if that is a 10 population city state and you know i've got some envoys in it but not not a huge amount of envoys if i can't win that one permanently and i'm keeping these envoys safe just in case i find some science envoys you know if i can't win it permanently i might have to start thinking about actually taking these over i've got a lot of tech i'm very soon going to be getting things like cavalry which are very good and tanks later in the game i might be able to steal a city or two and just boost my science even higher look at that savia have actually settled on the coast here Duh. you know what? actually i don't mind that means i've got another place to send trade route which which is better for my alliances later on um the other thing I have noticed, especially with exploration now, is I don't, you know, I can't see much of the map. That is a bit of a problem for me. I want to be able to see the map because if I can't see the map, ultimately, I'm never going to find all the science city states. And I know there's got to be at least a few out there. You know, I'm on a, I'm on a decently sized map. Does it show me what size of map I'm on here? No, it doesn't. But I could probably have a look if I go down this route. There's six of us, so there should be about ten city states. 
I've only found three. So Antium being my only city on the coast is going to be the one that's going to have to build the boats. So can I still buy galleys or are we? No, we're beyond galleys now. Quad marines. They've only got a movement of three. Caravels have movements of four. And I think they they have a good sight bonus as well. So I might have to build a couple of, quad, uh, of uh, caravels and start exploring the world. Equally, university and library in this district, universities get plus two science. That is a fantastic, great person. Ravina is still building its library. I'm going to stop you from building that library. That's, the, you know, I, I appreciate that, but we don't need it just yet. I'm going to get you to build the commercial hub. Uh, and actually, no, that's the commercial hub for this. Ooh. Here's the thing. So, I was going to build Ravina's commercial, commercial hub there, but totally. So, maybe if I can't build this hub anymore our team is going to be the one building there which means Ravina is going to be able to build another thing so the question is what is that thing going to be I can get rid of that now might be an industrial zone it's only a three adjacency one though and it's a good tile that so I'm gonna to have to build a let's get a trader going yeah traders are gonna be important for me now as I say looking to get these routes up as quick as I can. I can get some food if I go to Rome, but I actually want to trade with my allies as much as I can. In fact, actually, our team doesn't seem to be able to trade with the Incans, which is a little bit surprising, actually. I'm amazed at that. Is it already doing it? Our team to, no, it's just Ravina's the one doing the traders. That's, that's strange. Okay, never mind. We're, um, we're gonna send one to Rome. I don't wanna get into the habit of it, but it's a nice short route. And if it boosts this city up to 10 population, then I can leave it alone from that point. It'll all be good. Classical Republic has served me really well. The housing and the amenity is fantastic, but gold in all cities and production towards districts is a fantastic switch. I would always recommend going down Merchant Republic if you don't know what else you're going to do. It also gives me an extra policy slot here, which is fantastic. I always always would suggest keeping serfdom or any other builder based action because builders will win you the game i'm also going to just quickly flick to press gangs to get myself some naval units so i can go and explore the world because that is a big priority for me at the moment and remember i'm getting 10 i've got 10 points so i'm getting a lot of points per turn now just keep flogging them off you do not need these points any boosting goals you can get it all helps because now Again, I know I'm going to be able to build these boats very soon, but it doesn't stop me building a caravel just yet, getting the bonus. I can now go and explore, see if I can find some more city-states. So this is just going to get a library and a university. It doesn't get any of the bonus, but it gives universities plus two science. I'm on 148. Hopefully that'll pop to maybe 160. 170. Ooh, he was worth 24 science. That is really good because now if I look at things like if I go into the details of Rome, Rome is getting the full bonus from rationalism here. So if I go into the buildings, university is giving me a whopping plus eight now. That is insane. Civil engineering is the next big tech I want, or civic, that I want to get purely because of the building on grassland hills and plains hills to get those farm adjacencies going to give me as much as I can. Public works also is a fantastic policy that keeps the builders being produced. Again, if I have a look, I want at least sort of five or six food tiles in a little space on every city just to encourage growth. Aquella, for instance, doesn't have anything in the way of food, so that's a priority for me. Um, yeah, food food is important. 10 population, it's just you have to get to 10 population in every city you can at the moment. A builder in one turn, let's just do it. Always, every tile, every tile should be upgraded in your empire. Look at all this space around the edges. I've been slack at this, terrible. Unfortunately, I missed out on the golden era in the Renaissance era, which is a little bit of a problem. We've got some really good bonuses we could be getting right now, but I'm now just about to go and explore. <laughs> this, is, this turns really well, plus for era score every time you find a new continent and you get new, uh, you know, just this is a really, really good policy. Honestly, if you're not sure what you should be doing, builders, builder, 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 they, they, are, they are worth it. So much of a science victory is just making sure that all of your tiles are optimized at all times. I mean, look at this, right, I'm just going to pop that down, suddenly the extra food that I get in this sort of like the top part of this city 
absolutely incredible. I'm moving all of my trade routes over to Aquila. This is a really good city. That campus has given me a lot of science, but I really need to get the population of that city up to 10. Uh, these two cities are going to get the love at the moment. This Aratium, that's almost, that's, you know, it's going to do it by itself. That's absolutely fine. I'm not going to win any of these votes, so let's have a look. Let's just vote towards the person. So look, Tamiris here is going to get the most points. So I'm just going to vote for Tamiris on everything. I want Citrus to give me lots. I'm just going to put the vote on. Hopefully I win a point or two from a diplomatic victory, but we'll see. Let's have a look. No, no olives. No olives. Do I have olives? I feel like I should have olives. Oh, never mind. I don't care. Industrialization. Here we go. Coal power. Let's see if I get lucky and get coal. I get the feeling I did not. But I have coal here. Right, so I've got at least one coal that's near me. Remember this map search function? You can just search for coal here and have a look and see where everything is. So we've got one there, one near Lisbon. That's it. That's all the coal we have. <laughs> okay, okay. That means we've got to focus on oil as fast as we can because at the moment it doesn't look like coal is going to be the answer to our prayers, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Right, you can see I've missed out a lot of the text down at the bottom. I can think about just filling in a couple of these now because quite frankly I've got the boost so we're going to get to printing. We'll get up to metal casting. That'll just get me a little bit of score in scientific theory. You know, that's going to be like four turns worth of stuff. But now, the next step, replaceable parts. That gets me more food. I want to be getting towards replaceable parts and then I want to be getting towards refining here because the oil is going to be really important. Uh, actually, do I boost chemistry? I probably should boost chemistry, but it's fine. The science is doing all right at the moment. Oh, that's a bugger on the coal, isn't it? It's always the case, always the case. Anyway, let the city build one more district than normal. Ah, it's not the best one, but never say no. If, if you're getting more points than everybody like I am, if I, let's just check in on this. You can see engineer points, I'm getting nine now, and I'm gonna boost that up. The next person getting four. I would've been waiting ages to get that next great engineer, so there's no point passing on it. 26 scientist points per turn now. I've got the science boost coming up. There's a lot, a lot of good going on here. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna, I think I might just burn him in my capital. Why not? Uh, hang on, right, you go just build that. Give me an extra district. Never hurts to have it in your capital because eventually you'll be able to build a rocket site. 